Why You Must Watch MSNBC. But first, this video is dedicated to message board administrator. Did anyone use this? Rest in peace, Ramonda Lewis Burt. She passed away this past Saturday. MSNBC provides a valuable service to their viewers by omitting news that might confuse their audience. The goal of MSNBC is not to inform, but to turn out the vote for the Democratic Party and the global left. Let's see a few examples of recent news stories that will never be covered on MSNBC because that conflicts with their corporate goal of controlling information that their audience has access to. Beheading corpses. They found the hell skull which means the, uh, the, uh, these barbaric, sadistic uh, animals simply chopped off her head when they were attacking and torturing and killing Israelis. It's a huge tragedy. So think about this for a moment. This young member of a music festival was unarmed, was not an enemy combatant of Hamas, was in no way a threat to a single one of these brave holy warriors of Hamas. She was apparently missing a fragment of her skull when they brought her still form back over the border to Gaza City. And they drove around Gaza City with her intact corpse, or perhaps she was dying, but these Gaza militants drove all around Gaza City parading her corpse as a symbol of their holy war victory against the state of Israel. Either her head or her tor torso without a head was found by IDF soldiers in Gaza City. This means that these Gaza holy warriors who didn't offer her medical attention and didn't treat her to any rules that prisoners of war should expect. These men that you see here then said well Let's desecrate her corpse and cut off her head. What possible reason, if you are fighting for the legal authority of your Palestinian homeland, would you have for decapitating a 22-year-old woman's corpse? On MSNBC, you will never be shown this clip. All right, let's try searching MSNBC. Oh, they've never heard of Shawnee Look. It doesn't... Why is, why is her death, her horrible death at the hands of Hamas, not a feature on MSNBC.com? Here's another story you won't see on MSNBC.com. Hamas murdering children. Let's see if we have any any story on Hamas and children on msnbc.com. No? Well, let's make it simpler. Any story at all on Hamas. Let's see. Republicans urge Netanyahu to finish Hamas. What is Hamas hostage endgame? You notice there's not one person assigned at MSNBC to even question the morality of Hamas taking hostages. Anything's justified when you're Hamas. Israel Hamas war. Well, technically, it was 
the Hamas-Israeli war because Hamas invaded Israel, not the other way around. In the defense of MSNBC, they do have a clip interviewing a Hamas music festival survivor. But this particular item doesn't get highlighted, even though there's many videos released by the IDF, the Israeli Defense Force, from the Hamas terrorists they captured, whose job it was to murder children. Let's go to something a little more mild. This was a short that Ben Shapiro pointed out. 2000s. This when I was growing up. Three dollars for a Big Mac, a big chicken, three dollars! This when families was together. This when everybody got along. All the kids were playing with each other. Even if the mother was in there by herself, a man would be a man and be like, you know what? I got the meal. I'm a pig for Now why is this something that will never be pointed out? Look at what the meals at McDonald's cost. Two ninety nine. Look closely. That is not the price of the Big Mac sandwich. That is the price of the entire meal at McDonald's, two ninety nine, before Barack Obama and Joe Biden wrecked our country's economy. Why is this something you will never see on MSNBC News? Because inflation is not the personal fault of Joe Biden. In fact, you will never see any negative news about the Biden economy because that does not further the corporate goal at MSNBC and NBC Comcast to get you to go out and vote for the Democratic Party and for whoever is on the Democrat ticket at the top. So you will never see stories about your grocery prices. You will never see stories about inflation. You will never see stories about what it costs to go shop at the supermarket under Joe Biden. It's not their focus. And for that matter, let's take a look at something that happened to me personally. I went to Wendy's this week and ordered a Wendy's double stack at their drive through When I checked the receipt later, I was shocked to see that Wendy's double stack in November 2023 was $3.99. That's not the meal price. That was for just the sandwich. I remember as late as 2003, 2004, 2005, the Wendy's dollar menu had the double stack for one dollar. What changed? The Barack Obama, Joe Biden economic policies took effect and that's why you can't afford to buy a sandwich at Wendy's or McDonald's or anywhere else for less than ten dollars now. Here's a story you won't see at MSNBC. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky has ruled out a presidential vote next spring. World War II against the Axis powers. If FDR didn't suspend presidential elections, why is President Zelensky suspending presidential elections? Maybe Ukraine is so corrupt that we shouldn't be sending them money, right? But that conflicts with the message at MSNBC. So let's see here, Ukraine. They got one story. No mention at all of him suspending ele elections. Let's look at Zelensky. No reference at all to him saying that there's not going to be any presidential elections in the Ukraine. MSNBC's job is not to inform their viewers. Their job is to control information and omit news stories. Not because they are of a local or... Finally, MSNBC doesn't simply help their viewers make uninformed choices in presidential elections. They also queue up the appropriate emotional response in their audience. They program their audience to feel hate, anger, and rage so that you will vote appropriately. This saves you time in doing things like making informed decisions or having a freedom of choice in American presidential elections. These news outlets believe that you and your freedom of choice is the threat in this election not the 45th president of the United States. Thank you.